If you have back pain due to a herniated disc or sciatica or an annular tear, then stop. This is not for you. Radiofrequency ablation is just not an option. But if you have back pain that is more than 12 weeks in duration from an inflamed facet joint of your spine, in other words, arthritis, then watch to the end because radiofrequency ablation may be the answer you're looking for. This week in the clinic, we saw Stephen King. Steve has really severe low back pain. His MRI shows inflammation of the facet joints, and on examination, it's the tender joints of the low back that are obviously the cause of the pain. Steve is a good candidate for treatment with radiofrequency ablation. Radiofrequency ablation is a well-established procedure for the treatment of chronic low back pain due to inflamed joints, arthritis. The radiofrequency ablation procedure is often called burning the nerves because it works by heating to a very high degree the pain fibers in the low back. How effective is the radiofrequency ablation procedure for the treatment of low back pain due to arthritis? It can be very effective, but before burning any nerves, your pain doctor is going to do a diagnostic block called a medial branch block to make sure that your pain is actually coming from your joints. The medial branch block is not a treatment, it's a test. The pain relief only lasts for a few hours. But if you get more than 80% relief during those few hours, then you would be a good candidate for radiofrequency ablation. The radiofrequency ablation procedure is done under local anesthesia. Some people who are worried about even that much pain can have an anesthesiologist or anesthesia provider present to make sure they undergo conscious sedation. You don't feel anything at all. Although doctors have used radiofrequency ablation for the treatment of low back pain due to arthritis for decades, many people today have questions about the procedure. How likely is burning the nerves to be successful in the first place? If it does work, how long will it last? And finally, what happens if it doesn't work? If you have a positive medial branch block, meaning you got greater than 80% relief through the treatment window of the block, then studies show there's about a 60% chance you will achieve 80% pain relief over a period of 10 months. I know that's a lot of numbers, so let me say it again. If your medial branch block worked, then there's a 60% chance, six out of 10 people who undergo the procedure are going to get 80% of all of their pain relieved for a period of 10 months. It doesn't work for everyone. It doesn't work all the way, it's not a cure, but it gives almost everyone some degree of relief. How long will the pain relief last? Everyone is different, but the average person can expect 10 months of really good pain relief. All right, when everything is said and done, what happens if it doesn't work? And after all, that is about 40% of patients who don't get a substantial relief. If you have radiofrequency ablation and it doesn't work, but your medial branch block was extremely effective, then it's possible that the procedure just missed the target. So the first thing to try if you have radiofrequency ablation and you still have pain is to repeat the medial branch block. If the medial branch block repeat is not successful, then your pain is coming from something else and other treatments may be necessary. Those treatments could be lumbar fusion, it could be surgery, or it could be a different type of stretching and exercise. To see an actual patient who qualifies for radiofrequency ablation, come check out the clinic.